Hello, peeps. It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. Um, I want to um, send a special thanks to those that were in a live stream last night. Um, appreciate y'all support and your comments, and um, we had a great talk. Um, <clears throat> even though the preseason game was very uneventful, I mean, we it was trash. But again, it's preseason. It was the backups to the backups to the backups playing, and I want to say half those people out on that field not even going to be on the um, team come Saturday. But I will say, Cowboys have already started cutting players. With that being said, Coney Ely is gone. Cut. Vaminos. And also linebacker um, Eric Pinkins is gone too. Now, I'm not really shocked by either one. Um, Eric Pinkins, we know, he hasn't really done much in training camp. And that linebacker position is pretty much solidified. What we have right now is most likely going to be on the team. They'll probably, they're, they're probably cut the other guys that, that we know that have not really played either but you know the walk-ons and the undrafted players but um Aaron Pickens is gone that was a short-lived project Coney Ely also a short-lived project now what's funny about this whole Coney Ely thing is this Coney Ely the Cowboys had him on their radar ever since he got drafted um before he um got drafted to Carolina you know they had them on the, they had Coney Ely on their draft board way back then and I thought Coney Ely was better. I don't know. He came in with the Dallas Cowboys. He just looked sluggish. He just looked. He just didn't look like he was <coughs> able to rush the passer or do anything that would warn him to be on this team. I already knew even watching that game last night. I was like, Coney Ely not going to make this team. I said, it's too many other defensive linemen that have been stepping up for him to even make the roster. I mean, he was just the odd man out. It was just. It, it, it made too much sense. So, you know, they're going to make the easy cuts now, get those guys out the way, and keep it moving. Um, you know, Coney Ely, I'm pretty sure somebody that's desperate for defensive line help, they, 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 they'll they probably pick him up or whatever. But um, I actually thought that Coney Ely, I was, I was happy in the offseason when the Cowboys got him because I was like, oh, they got Coney Ely. Let's see what he can do. He and he busted great. And I know that it's disappointing because – the Cowboys uh, front office probably thinking like, damn, did we misevaluate this guy? Uh, did we think that he was something greater than what he was? I mean, whatever the case may be, I don't know why he didn't um, turn out great. I don't know if it was just too many people ahead of him. I don't know if um, he just, I mean, I'm pretty sure they played him at the right position. I don't, I don't, he had all the tools to succeed. I just don't understand why he faltered so much. It's kind of weird when you think about it, but Hey, it is what it is. I'm not, um, I, 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 actually, I actually like the kid, but the fact, but that's what training camp is for. You got to put up a shut up. If you're not showing these coaches that you belong, <clears throat> you're not going to make the squad. You, you're not going to make it. Eric Pinkins did a, absolutely nothing. I don't even, I forgot he was even still on the roster for real. Cause I remember when they picked him up in the off season around the time they got Coney Ely and I was like, Oh, he's just going to be a backup. He's going to be a special teams guy. He didn't even prove that he could be a special teams guy. I don't like I said. I don't remember even seeing him in the game at all. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but again, that's that's what I got right now. Coney Ely, um, Eric Pinkins is gone, and we're going to see a rash in, of of people getting cut from here on out. Oh yeah, and um, Aaron Donald. Congratulations to him getting that monster deal with the Rams. I knew that was going to happen eventually. That that Rams team is going to be sick this year. They they're going to be a very fast mobile team. They're going they're going to be hard to beat. So that's 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 going to be the team to beat in that division. But uh yeah, with that being said, y'all like, share, comment. It's your boy E2 Blue. Mahalo y'all soon.